Hello, my name is Martin Tully. I'm a solutions architect here at Portnox. And today what I wanted to demonstrate was our conditional access for applications um, and using OpenVPN. And I'll show you how I'm going to log in via SAML and as well as make a VPN connection uh, with my OpenVPN client. So let's take a look at this and how this works. So first things first is that there is some setup that needs to be done. Um, I will put these links in the description below but basically how to set up all the specific uh, identity providers and applications inside Portnox. Uh, you can go into settings, um, integration services, and you can see here I have my identity provider set up. I have Google, Okta, and CyberArk all set up as identity providers. Um, and then I have specific applications that I've used. So these are applications that I use, Gmail, OpenVPN, and Okta. In this particular case, we are demonstrating OpenVPN. And you can see here the identity provider we are using is Okta in this particular case. So the other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need Agent P. So Agent P, when you activate Agent P, so you download it, you activate it, um, and you'll register with a specific account. A specific account in this particular case, I use this account. Um, this account is inside my Okta repository, so I use that account, um, and it created a certificate for me um, inside my. Uh, Windows uh, workstation here. So if I come in here to certificates, what you'll see here is my certificate that I have here that Agent P placed on my device. And this is what I'm going to be using as my authentication method. Um, so let's take a look and let's run through that. So you can see everything looks good here. Agent P is nice and green. It says everything, my device is healthy. So I should have no problems connecting. I'll come into OpenVPN. I'll say I'm going to sign in via SAML. You can see here, it's showing me that same certificate I just showed you a second ago. I hit OK. Um, then I'll log in with my username in Okta. Okta is now sending me a push to my watch. I'm going to say, yes, it's me. And you can see here now that I authenticated, I'm now logged into the access server. And you can see here, I can now log in and download a profile that I can import into my uh, OpenVPN client. So I will select this profile here. You can see here it uh, downloads it for me. I'll open my uh, OpenVPN client. I'm gonna say file, I'll say browse. I'll find that profile that I just downloaded. And now I'm going to say connect. And when I say, I say connect, you can see again, it's sending me to Okta, it sent me another push. So I'm going to say, yes, it's me again. And once I do that, uh, what it's going to do is it's going, you can see here, the authentication uh, assertion has been received. It's safe to close this now, so I can close this out. I'll minimize this here. And you can see here, I have connected to OpenVPN and I am now connected via VPN. Um, so on the back end, what you're gonna see here is some alerts that have been created. So let's take a look at those alerts that created. So you can see here, the authentication success uh, from the specific, the first time uh, when I created the application, uh, when I was able to uh, log in to download the profile. Um, and then of course the connection that I actually made uh, with VPN. So you can see both of those authentication methods there. Um, on Octus side, just to show you that um, I did get those push um, coming through. So let's take a look in Okta. Um, you'll see here that in, uh, in Okta, you can see here that it did send me those two pushes here at 2024, 51, 52. And you can see it did send me a CIA open VPN. That is my application that I created in Okta. Um, and you can see here the MFA authentication success, uh, user signed on to the app, uh, user via MFA. So all that was presented to me via Okta. So everything is good and rolling. But let's, what happens if there is an issue, right? An issue with Agent P. So let's go back out of here. And with Agent P, right, I can come in here. And what I'm going to say is there's a problem. So we have a specific issue. And you can see here in this particular case, the risk score has reached a block action, right? Um, the block action is because um, it is a forbidden that I am running a VPN, uh, VM, VM tools, which you can see that it is running, let me refresh that. Um, so it should be running here. So if I try to disconnect now and I reconnect because my device is in a blocked action, when I click on reconnect here, what it should do is redirect me back out to the internet, back open to my browser. Let me 
me actually close this out. And you can see here, uh, please proceed. Let me try again. It's checking my certificate. I say, okay. And you can see here, my device is blocked now because of that risk score in Agent P. Um, I can also see that in the alerts in Portnox. So you can see here one that I reached a block level and my device was prevented from accessing an application because it reached a, a risk score, which is open VPN. So that happened there. Now, uh, Agent P will, what it's going to do is it's actually going to come in back in here and fix this for me here in a second um, so that I'm not at a risk anymore. So you can do some preventative actions in here, um, but we're not gonna wait for uh, that to do right now for that to happen. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, let's see if I can refresh. And actually, looks like Agent P already stopped it. Let me take a look back here. Yep, and you can see that Agent P already ran a remediation policy. Um, so you can come back in here in Portnox and you can see here under a remediation policy, I have a stop immediately that VM tools. So you can see there, it automatically stopped it. My agent is now back in a good state. So I'm gonna return back to the application. I'll close this out. I'm gonna say retry from within here. Give it a second. Or I can say cancel. Let me see if this will be quicker and retry again. So there goes the browser. There's my certificate. I say, okay, log in with my user. I get my push, say, yes, it's me. Again, a lot of these settings are customizable right, in terms of how many times you wanna be asked the user to authenticate. Um, that's totally up to you. Um, right now I have, for demonstration purposes, obviously I have Okta um, asking me each time I log in for demonstration purposes. But those, again, those are all settings that you can set up on your side. And uh, I'll be connected here in a second. Let me close out that browser window. And you can see I'm connected and I'm good to go. So thank you very much for watching.